Here we're continuing on and discussing how we calculate shares using the per capita method by generation. And we said that the per capita, similar to per capita with representation, when calculating shares using the per capita by generation method, you divide the estate at the first generation at which there are living takers. So in this case, that would be this generation, because this generation, all of the issue have passed away. You divide the state equally at that generation. So T, V, and N would get one third each. Now this is the same result you would get if you had done per capita with representation, right? Because you divide at the first generation with a live taker. To see the difference between per capita with representation and per capita by generation, we have to change the hypothetical a little bit. In this version of the hypothetical, D has died without a um, surviving spouse, and A and B have predeceased D, but C is still alive. Using the per capita with representation, we would begin by dividing the share of the first generation with the living taker, which is this generation here. So here we would divide the estate into one thirds. Then A and B have predeceased D, so we would drop down the shares here. This will look familiar to you. And here. So the answer would be that T gets one sixth, V gets one sixth, N gets one third, and C gets one third. Remember here, this is a six because we divide one third in half, which means we're multiplying and that gives us one sixth. All right, so what would this look like if we use the per capita by generation? Well, again, we would divide at the first generation where there's a living taker. So we would still get a third, a third, and a third. C would take a third. But the difference is that we would, before we drop down these two shares, we would pull them together. That means we would add them together. So here we have C gets their one third. We have two third left. That two third is split equally amongst T, V, and N. So each of them gets a third. So we do a third of two thirds. And that is two ninths. So that means T gets two ninths, V gets two ninths, and N gets two ninths, and C gets one third. Per capita by generation emphasizes fairness and equality in the distribution at the generation level. That's why it requires the pooling of the dropped share so that each person at a particular generation, like TV and N, they all get an equal share. See? Whereas using per capita with representation, T and V get a smaller share than N does. Now, although the UPC specifies which type of representation to use, for exam purposes, 
I may ask you to apply any one of these various methods of calculating shares. In the next lesson, we will go over how to calculate shares for ancestors and collaterals.